Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Saturday, September 10, 2016, around 6.23 in the morning, Bellica, Massachusetts. The sun is coming up. It's going to be a nice day, sunny, much cooler around 80. Some news to report. The Boston Red Sox beat the Toronto Blue Jays by the score of 13 to 3. Rick Porcello became the first pitcher this season to notch 20 wins. Sox are up two games on the Toronto Blue Jays. They play again today at 107 on Fox and and Sportsnet Ontario. The USA men's hockey team beat Canada's men's hockey team by the score of 4-2 to two in a World Cup of Hockey exhibition. The United States looked pretty good last night. So that's, that's it's hopeful that they could do pretty good in a World Cup of Hockey. It's Happy National TV Dinner Day. And it, it's also World Suicide Prevention Day. And that's about it on the news. My first video blog subject of the day is about Rocky Three. Rocky Three came out in 1982, and this is probably the most successful of the Rocky movies, in my humble opinion. And it's famous for the Eye of the Tiger, which was a theme song by Survivor, and this movie grossed over a hundred million dollars at the box office in 1982, which that's the equivalence of close to 250 million dollars today. Rocky III starred Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa, Tiger Shire as his wife, Adrian, Bert Young as Polly, Burgess Meredith as Mickey, his trainer. Also in this movie was Mr. T as Boxer Club Elliot Lang, Carl Weathers as a Paul Creed, and Hulk Hogan as Thunderlet. And it was directed by Sylvester Stallone and also written and produced by Sylvester Stallone and Erwin Winkler. Erwin Winkler is no relation to Henry Winkler that I know of. Henry Winkler was a font on Happy Days, but that's another subject for another day. The movie starts with do 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 at the ending scene of Rocky II when like Rocky Balboa was fighting a Paul Creed and like back and forth and then Rocky knocks out a Paul Creed and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rocky Balboa becomes the new boxing heavyweight champion and like Adrian and Polly were watching on television and um, Bucky says, yo, Adrian, I did it. And then for the, maybe the first um, several minutes of the movie, the Eye of the Tiger was playing and they would show Rocky as world champion, beating ten opponents and getting so much wealth and fame. But there was a new um, boxer on the horizon, Club Elaine, who was, you know, scouting Rocky and beating opponents easily and then after that they had like Paulie going into a, a arcade and he was drunk and he throws a, a bottle at the Rocky pinball machine he gets arrested and Rocky ba bails him out of jail and then they try to shout do this and that and then they have um, Rocky with Mickey 
Face Off against Thunderlips, played by Hulk Hogan, in a wrestler versus boxer match. It was for charity, and um, Thunderlips says, Look, the ultimate male against the ultimate meatball. And also, Clever Lame was in the um, watching it. And then Thunderlips dominates Rocky, being on a bat bump, pillar to post. And then um, Thunderlips slams Rocky into the fourth wall. And then Rocky, like, gets his, like, takes off his boxing gloves and then beats like up um thunder lips mickey's having some pain he's probably, he's probably having a little heart attack and then like rocky throws um um thunder lips into the first second row and the bell rings and it was a draw and then um thunder lips and rocky shake hands and they take a picture and then uh, they have like Rocky with his son Rocky Jr. spend some time together. And then Rocky, Adrian, Polly, and Mickey go to a ceremony where they have a Rocky stash, statue um, put put up. Which that's in real life, that's they have a Rocky statue in Philadelphia. And Rocky was going to announce his retirement from boxing, but then Clever Lane um, says, you've been ducking me, Balboa, for a long time. And Mickey was saying, hey, this is his time. And then Rocky wants to challenge him to a fight. And then, like Mickey, they go back to Rocky's house. Mickey is packing. He's going on a permanent vacation. Rocky wants to fight um, Club Elaine. And Mickey says he will, he will knock you out in the minimum of, uh, before three rounds. All the f fighters you challenged in the past for your title were hand-picked. And will you train me, Mick, please, for one more time? Yes, Rocky. And then... Rocky and Mickey train for the fight against Club Elaine, but Rocky, like, kind of, um, trains casually and not, not taking this fight seriously against Club Elaine, while Club Elaine's training like, like a monster because he, he, he has the eye of the tiger to beat up, beat Rocky in the fight. And then the fight, the fight happens for the, for the World Boxing Championship. It was held in the um, Spectrum in Philadelphia. Well, that, that, it, this was fictionous and, and stuff. It probably was in a, in a studio in Hollywood, California. And, like, they ha had a Paula Creed as a guest um, commentator. And before the ma match, when Rocky and Club Lane were being introduced, um, Club Elaine threw Mickey, and then Mickey f falls down, he's suffering a heart attack, and then Rocky wants to cancel the fight, but Mickey s says, go, go, go. And then they have um, Rocky face off against Club Elaine, and Apollo Creed shakes Rocky's hand. And, like, this fight was first belt. Balboa would got the upper hand on Club Elaine, but Club Elaine dominated Rocky, beat him up. After the first round, it was it was um it was um Club Elaine dominating, and while while we're back back in the dressing room, um Mickey suffered another heart attack, and and Rocky wasn't focused; he didn't know what. Would, what was happening, and then a few seconds in the second round, Club Elaine delivers a knockout punch to Rocky. Referee 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you're out. They also showed, like, um, the doctors were, like, trying to revive Mickey. Club Elaine wins the World Boxing Champion, and then Rocky goes backstage, 
back to dressing room and then this doctor saying we must immediately take Mickey to the hospital. It's critical. But then um, Rocky spent some time with Mickey and Mickey was barely alive. He says, how did we do? It was a knockout in the second round. And Mickey thought they won, but Rocky was crying. And then Mickey said his last words, he best passed away. And then they showed um, um, the funeral for Mickey. And Rocky was so sad and depressed. And then he goes to the Rocky statue and he throws the motorcycle hat on it. And he goes to the gym where him and Mickey train at Mickey's gym. Um, Rocky was so sad and depressed, he lost his trainer and my dad friend and then Paul Creed came down to offer to train with him about a rematch with Club Elaine. And you, you, if you have a fight train, you could get the eye of the tiger back. And then Rocky offers to train with um, Apollo Creed. And then they start training and Rocky's still a little depressed about Mickey. Because, you know, it was a mentor and friend and then Rocky was just, you know, basically gone. You know, he was for several days, he just he wouldn't train and um, Apollo Creed says it was over for him because he, he's, he, he's probably not going to have what it takes to beat Club Elaine, but then Adrian gives him a pep, pep talk to um, Rocky, and I, I know you could do it, Apollo knows you could do it, Apollo knows you could, to, could do it, and then Rocky just trains like, you know, crazy, he's got the eye of the tiger back, and then he runs hard, works hard, swims hard, they throw Polly into the, into the swimming pool, and then it's time for the rematch with Rocky facing off, off against Club Elaine, Cl and it's at Madison Square Garden Fictionist, and then it was a back and forth fight, back and forth fight, sometimes Club Elaine got dumb, dumb dominated Balboa and Balboa dominated Club Lane and went a few rounds and at the ending of the fight um, both um, Rocky you know does a punch to Club Lane both fall, fall down because they're both groggy but um, Rocky gets up and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and Rocky we Games, the World Heavyweight Champion, Apollo's happy, Polly's happy, and other, and everybody else is happy. And at the ending of the film, that um, Rocky and Apollo is at um, the gym, Mickey's gym, and then they, you know, box, they friendly box, and both of them do that. And it's a painting, and it's the end of the film, and they play The Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. And that's how the film ended. Um, Rocky 3 was, my humble opinion, the best Rocky movie of them all. It was probably one of my ten, top 10 favorite movies ever to watch. I would always watch it over and over again. Um, Rocky 3 launched the careers of Hulk Hogan and Mr. T, because a few months later, the A-Team made its debut on NBC and, and in 1984 Hulk Hogan became WWE Champion and made the professional wrestling mainstream and and I give it two thumbs up for Rocky 3 maybe in the near future I could re review a few other Rocky movies you never know that's about it on that Two more video blogs coming for you today. One video blog will be about Chronicle, the news magazine on Channel 5 in Boston and also on Channel 9 in Manchester, New Hampshire. And the third and final video, video blog of tonight's personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback and the number one color man on Fox telecast for NFL football. 
Detroit Ape Man. See, see you tonight. And don't forget, keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCC All Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hat, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome. Amy, Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York, so rocking cougar. And she's got nice legs as well. The best in New York City. And Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And in the words of Charlotte.